Gracian, it's really good to see you. And people will know your name, but it's good to put a face to the name. And I would like to know how you become a Christian, please. My name is Gracian Mayer. I'm from Malawi, Africa. I born in a family of eight children. And uh, we have three sons and five daughters. And uh, I'm the third one from the uh, sons. My father was a chain smoker. My grandmother was uh, making of beer, African beer. Huh? And uh, I was raised in a family where there's no any Christian life. God is so wonderful to me because as I told you, my father was a chain smoker. My grandmother was uh, making a beer. So my, my family was very not a uh, Christian family. But God is so wonderful to my life. Uh, I have a, a good testimony because my mother, she don't like me. Anyone don't like me. There's a reason behind. The first son, as I told you, was, was a son. And um, my mother, she have another child, a, a boy again. And uh, she's not happy to have two boys. She need a girl. Yeah, it's a culture in Africa because in Africa, most of the women they're looking for a girl that they can increase the family, not a boy. So when they have two boys, she was not happy both sides to my father and to my mother. They're not happy with the two boys. They're looking for a girl uh, because my mother, uh, she have no brother or sister. She's only one. So she need a girl that maybe the generation will be coming from that girl. But unfortunately, the first one was a boy, the second one a boy. And to me, they have been going to African doctors to take a medicine to have a girl when she have a pregnant. And uh, God is so wonderful. Uh, uh, to me, when I was born, I was not like a boy, I was not like a girl, but a, a boy. And the whole people were not happy to see like I'm a boy again, three boys. So they want me to throw me out. Well, they, don't, they don't want me, they want a girl. But uh, God is so wonderful. And uh, from me, I, as I told you, I'm really raised from this family. I've been grown up. And um, when I was in the secondary school, there's another man came from my village. He was preaching about Jesus. I, I just went to his church as if he making a fellowship. I went there. So when I went there, uh, he, he preached against the sins. And uh, I joined and he prayed for me. And I received class, Jesus Christ to be my savior. From that day, I've been moving with that man for making fellowship, preaching about Jesus. When I was secondary school, I continued preaching about Jesus. Even right now, when I get married, I preaching about Jesus. So that's my testimony. Yes. That's amazing. God really loves you, Gracian. He really does. But did you feel rejected by your mother, your father? Did you feel that rejection? Yeah, at the first day, I was not happy with them. No. Both sides was, I, I feel pity when people talk to me that they don't like me when I was in a young, a child. But right now, because I am receiving Christ, I'm in living the grace, I forgive them, I love them, I pray for them. Yeah, so, because Jesus is in my heart, so... I really, I know that they're not, they are not the one they reject me, but the devil was using them to reject me, yes. Yeah, that must have been really tough for you. I think it's amazing. You have an amazing attitude towards yes. them, how the Lord has been helping you through this situation. You know, yeah, it can't be we, easy. And to make it good, I meet with the man of God, is Kim on Facebook. And, uh, you know, he told me that you need to join me the Zoom meeting because I've been going in Zoom meeting for a long time with him. And uh, all the time I listening to the teachings, I read it, I take the Bible, I take it, and it 
it growing me very strong in my spiritual life when I join this Zoom meeting. And I like each and every time to join it because my spirit right now is growing uh, great. And right now I enjoy this Zoom meeting each and every time, yes. That's wonderful. That really, really is. What would you say to someone who feels rejected in some way? Because yeah, to me, right now, I need to speak to someone somewhere. Maybe you are in the situation, uh, people are rejecting you, they don't like you, they're putting you down. But uh, I just want to encourage you that don't care when they are rejecting you, but you think you need to pray to God, you need to seek the word of God, and the word of God will comfort you. And the, the, uh, when Jesus Christ is your king of your life, you see the grace, then instead of cursing them, those people who are rejecting you, you'll be praying for them and will God love them. Because God is love. And uh, I speak to you, my friend, I don't know where you are. Think about Jesus. He was rejected, rejected, rejected. Yes. But look now, he is the chief cornerstone that he redeemed our sins. So don't worry about people when they reject you. There's yes. something in your life. God has been putting something in your heart. That's why people want to reject you. But you need to pray for them. You need to pray yourself. And uh, I just want to speak to you right now. Meet the people who are fearing God. They can... They can, they can teach you the word of God. You will be in a good path because there are some people, you accompany, body companies, they don't know Jesus Christ, you are rejected, they can speak anyhow to you, but join people who know, who know the love of God. They will be teaching you, trains you, equip you, and the love of God will be overflowing to you, and Jesus will be your master. Amen. That is wonderful, and that is good advice that you give there as well, Gratian. And as you said, the Lord knew what it was like to feel rejected, and you have also experienced rejection yourself and knowing that the Lord has helped you through that difficult time. How does your faith affect your daily life, would you say? Yeah, faith to me, when I read the book of Hebrews 11, it's talking about faith. And uh, to me, uh, being a rejected one, I think faith has been helping a lot. Was I remember one time when I received Christ with this man who making it a fellowship, God was speaking to me to give a uh, gift to the uh, hospital. Uh, God speak to me that I need to take rice and I need to share for the hospital. And I talked to my mother, I talked to my father, they rejected, said, no, 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 we cannot do this, you're not, a, you're not a donor, you cannot do this. They want to put me, put me down, but I have faith. I prayed to God that God, use me, I want to give to these people in the hospital. And with my faith, with God help me, I took that uh, rice, the going to the hospital, I meet with the uh, doctor there. And when I talk to them that I need to give you, to give to the uh, patient rice, you know, surprisingly, I see the, the God of hand to me. Those uh, doctor says, okay, you are doing a great job. I will be helping you to buy groceries to accompany with rice. So I say, wow, you know, my faith grows up. I said, well, this is so wonderful. And during the day, I was giving this item of rice. Many nurses, doctors accompany with me, and we share uh, groceries, soap, um, rice. Yeah, we preach the word of God there. So I speak to you, my friend, where you are. You need to have faith. Believe to God. No matter the situation you are moving right now, but have faith. Because without faith, you cannot praise God, yes. And I think your testimony will help some people today for sure. Gratian, the Lord loves you very much. He created you 
a man for a reason. Yes. And you are a delight and the apple of his eye. And may the Lord bless you in your work for him and bless you and your family. Thank you Amen. for sharing your testimony with us today. God bless you. Thank you, Gratian.